in creation is found on the page that is numbered one. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Set the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Kyrie is also found on page one. Your righteousness, Lord, is like the strong mountains, and your justice as the great deep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. With you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Oh, continue your righteous dealing to those who are true of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. you. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us that we may continually be given to good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The lesson is from the book of Genesis and is appointed for uh, the first Sunday school formation lesson on Sunday, and therefore the children's sermon will Genesis 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless, void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate water from water. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters be under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together God called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let there be earth to bring forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees, every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, for days and for years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, to separate the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the water bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind, with which the water swarm, and every winged bird of every kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds multiply in the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and 
wild animals of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heaven and the earth were finished, and all the multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done, and God rested on the Sabbath day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because it was God who rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks. May the Lord be on your lips and in your heart proclaiming the gospel of God of peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go, therefore, into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad, so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For 
many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So as, please be seated. As I said, uh, we will record the children's sermon at the service today, and it will be broadcast um, on the weekend, which is the first week of the uh, formation materials as well. So by the office door hangs this picture, uh, and it's being posted with uh, the service today. And you'll see there are six blocks. And it's for the six days of creation. You can sort of see the man and woman down there. Uh, so it represents the six days of creation. So if you have an opportunity, um, once you can look at it one of these days when you're walking by the office or if you look at the photo that's posted. We're beginning with the story of creation in Genesis 1. And I'm going to ask a question. through the scripture, he added up all the years and said, oh, well, the earth is 4,000 years old. Because Noah lived this many years. And so, he, so he's probably off on his math. And, uh, <laughs> and if we look at this story of evolution as we have it, uh, get, it's even off further. And some people try and reconcile that, oh, dinosaurs were only 4,000 years old. There was no one there. Let alone the question that's in the packet is, you know, a, a Jewish day begins at sunset and goes to sunset. But for God, when does the sun set? So how can you say how long a day is? At the end of the lesson, it says the generations. So we can easily get lost in trying to make Genesis 1 a science book or a math book. But no, it's not. It's a big book. It's a big book. And if we look at the structure of Genesis 1, it's really a litany. It's a litany, a, a song of praise in which the response by the congregation is, and God said that it was good. The litanist would say this, the day of creation and then the people would say, and God said that it was good. This Bible begins with an act of worship and praise. Not a book of science and fact. Because its point is not how creation, how the creation was done. The point of the story is that poor creatures made in the image and likeness of God God thinks that we are good. God created us for goodness. Not that we don't fall, but God always sees the goodness in us. God sees the goodness in his creation even when we can't. There are a lot of creatures, I think, that are on your list and maybe on my list that say, why did God do that? Especially if it's something that bites or stinks or falls around. And that's what we're reminded of in this story. That we're creatures made in the image and likeness of God. And God calls us to goodness because he created out us out of goodness and sustains us in his love. So let us rejoice as we begin the creation season and give thanks that God has called us good, always loves us, and doesn't ask us to believe in the fact
Lord of the harvest, when we lift up our eyes to perceive with Christ's eyes, we see that the fields of the world are already white for harvest. We pray for your church that it may spirit, be spiritually equipped to reap the harvest of souls. We pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our primus, William, our diocesan bishop, for our retired bishops, for our companion diocese, for the province of Jerusalem and the Middle East, and for the clergy and people in the diocese on the Anglican cycle of prayer this week. In our diocese, we pray for Trinity Cathedral and for all those in the vocational process. Lord of creation, in your yes. mercy, yes. hear us. Lord of the harvest, you have created the universe by your eternal word and have blessed humankind in giving us dominion over the earth. We pray for your world that we may share and conserve its resources and live in reverence for the creation and in harmony with one another. We pray for our nation, for Donald, for Michael, for Philip, for members of Congress and the judiciary, and for all governors and all local officials, for the leaders of all nations and those working for peace and nuclear disarmament, for the safety and well-being of all men and women serving in the armed forces and for their loved ones, for all victims of homelessness, hunger, and malaria, immigration, unemployment, underemployment, and for those who continue to be on furlough. For all nurses, doctors, hospital staff, first responders, scientists, medical researchers, and all other essential workers, that they may be safe. For those displaced and affected in any way by all disasters and those working to meet their needs, especially as people in our nation begin to deal with yet another hurricane we continue our prayers for an awareness of environmental stewardship and justice and for the outreach ministries of this parish. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, your son has promised that the spirit will lead us into all truth. We pray for the community in which you have set us, for one another and for ourselves, that we may bear the harvest of the spirit in love and joy and peace. We pray for all those celebrating birthdays, especially Kayla White, Paula Miller, Martha the Selka, Betty Noble, and Susan Diltz. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, you, though you have given the human race a rich land, a land of stream and spring, wheat and barley, vine and oil and honey, we have made by sin a world of suffering and sorrow. We pray for those who bear the weight of affliction that they may come to share the life of wholeness and plenty. We pray for all those who are ill in body, mind, or spirit, especially Julie, Cindy, Mark, Oakland Infant, Ursula, Ed, Tracy, Holly, Jean, Riley, Joyce and John, Calvin, Karen, Gail, Jack, Marlena, Melissa, Bridget, Gary, Norma, Kathleen, Charles, and for the health and well-being of the President of the United States, the First Lady, and all those in our country and worldwide who are ill with COVID-19. We continue prayers for those on the hearts and minds of our gleanings guests, for those who live with prolonged illnesses, for those preparing for and recovering from surgery, for those who are with child, and for all those who mourn and grieve. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, your Christ, the first fruit of the resurrection, will put in the sickle for the harvest of the dead at the end of time. We pray for all those who have gone before us in his peace, that he will bring safely home all whom have given him and gather us all to share together in the banquet of the age to come. We offer prayers for the departed. The altar flowers are given to the glory of God and in loving memory of Norma and Al Zara Sr. on the first, fourth anniversary in heaven. The shrine candles burn to the glory of God and in loving memory of the Reverend Jeffrey Collis, who served as our supply priest for many summers. And through the Book of Remembrance, your prayers are requested for Arlene Wilkinson. Lord of creation, in your mercy, mercy hear us. We give you thanks, most gracious God, for the beauty of the earth and sky and sea, for the richness of mountain, plain, and river, for the song of bird and the loveliness of flower. We praise you for these good gifts. 
and we pray that we may safeguard them for our posterity. Grant that we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation. To the honor and glory of your name, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only in your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please be seated. There are just a couple of announcements. Uh, we still have um, formation packets available in the Nortex, uh, along with all the materials, including Advent packets, uh, uh, Advent materials for you to take. I know Advent's a way off, but we don't know when you're coming, uh, and so we thought we'd just have it out for, for a long time. So uh, please do remember that. Starting Sunday afternoon, we will reset this room for the mini boutique after service. Uh, which begins on Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The mini boutique hours are 10 to 1 during the day. On Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday evenings, they are 5 to 7. And on Friday evening at 7, uh, out on the lawn will be the showing of Babe. So please remember to, to, uh, to plan to come. Uh, there will be soda and popcorn here for you to buy, but um, other snacks. Um, uh, you have to bring your own, and a chair, and probably a blanket, because it may be chilly. So you'll come, you'll sign in, and you'll take your little block, which will be painted on the, on the ground, uh, and you'll stay in your little block. And you can come and use the bathroom and that kind of thing. But, um, so you'll have your assigned blocks, um, and uh, the food that you have in your block is for your block. You can't be sharing it with others. So, um, it should be a lot of fun. It's a way of having a, a fellowship event because so many of our fellowship events are not happening this year. So um, it may be chilly. Uh, there will be sheep. There will be sheep, dogs, and chickens. So it'll be a little farmy. Uh, but the movie is paved. So we hope that you'll be able to enjoy that. Uh, please remember you can still sign up for soup or baked goods for the boutique. And they just need to come in during the week. Uh, containers are available. Oh, and uh, on Sunday at 9.30, we will bless the scarves. You see that mountain there? Uh, uh, scarves, and um, some will go to Church Siemens Institute, some go to our adopted families, some go to our Gleanies guests. We thank those who all year long have been knitting or crocheting uh, the items that you see before us. Um, this year we're missing a jean. Uh, well, we have some of jean stuff, but uh, because of um, closure of so many of our facilities, including where Jean was, um, we have not been able to see her, uh, let alone, I'm sure she, no one's gotten out to get her any yard, so, um, and then she broke her off, so she hasn't been knitting or crocheting like she normally does, but we keep her in our prayers. The Eucharist today will be offered with special intention for the repose of the soul of Father Jeffrey Collins. Offer God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make with your vows to
Great Thanksgiving begins at the bottom of page 7. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. All thanks and praise are yours at all times and in all places, our true and loving God. Through Jesus Christ, your eternal word, the wisdom from on high by whom you created all things. You laid the foundation of the world and it closed the sea when it burst out of the womb. You brought forth all creatures of the earth and gave breath to humankind. Wondrous are you, holy one of blessing. All you create is a sign of hope for our journey. And so, as the morning stars sing your praises, we join with the heavenly beings and all creation as we shout with joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor are yours, creator of all. Your word has never been silent. You called a people to yourself as a light to the nations. You delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace, you gave Jesus to be born for us, uh, to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your holy reign, and to give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you have freed us from sin, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you, and restored us to the glory you intend for us. We thank you that on the night before he died for us, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper, after supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, gave it to his friends and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And so, remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and ascension, longing for Christ coming in glory, and presenting to you these gifts, your earth is formed, the human hands have made, we acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Christ Jesus, come in glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ, and in the fullness of time, gather us with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, James, Matthias, Francis, Claire, and all your people into the joy of our true eternal home, through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices of unending praise. Blessed are you, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The gift of God for the people of God. Let us pray for those who are not with those who are not able to be with us at this time, saying, My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as I proclaim your resurrection. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. 
Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus. Let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life and in the life to come. Amen. The gift of God for the people of God, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Let us pray. God of abundance, you have fed us with the bread of life and cup of salvation. You have united us with Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all our people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the power of the Spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world, and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country.